If this is true, then they are good candidates for supporting life. However, the habitable zone around a cool, dim star like DGCVN is much closer to the star than the Earth is to the Sun. When planets are closer to their star, to the solar scale, it would have been an X 100,000. So this is several orders. Rapture meaning everyone vanishes. and portions of DNA can be expanded or deleted. It's completely accepted in science that cosmic rays can and do alter DNA. Since Cygnus is the source of the most powerful cosmic rays hitting Earth, it's likely that it has been responsible for altering DNA for thousands of years. Carl Sagan um, predicted that cosmic rays would have affected human, human evolution in the past. What's the source of the remaining counts? Well, some of them come from radioactivity in the walls of the cave. But there's more to it than that. Some of the counts we're hearing right now are due to high energy charged particles which are penetrating the roof of the cave. We are listening to cosmic rays. Every second they are penetrating my body and yours. They don't do much damage. Cosmic rays have bombarded the Earth for the entire history of life on our planet, but they do cause some mutations and they do affect life on the Earth. The cosmic rays, mainly protons, are penetrating through the meters of rock in the cave above me. To do this, they have to be very energetic, and in fact, they are traveling almost at the speed of light. Is the most abundant form of carbon. About 99% of all known forms of carbon. It is the isotope of carbon that consists of six protons, six electrons and six neutrons. Six, six, six. Does that sound familiar? After oxygen, the second most abundant element in the human body is carbon-12. On cremation, the body returns to its carbon-12 state. After hydrogen, helium and oxygen, which are all gases, carbon-12 is the most abundant element in the universe. Carbon-12 is also one of the five elements that make up the human DNA. Thus carbon-12 is indeed the most crucial element as far as life as we know today, is concerned. This is probably what the writer of the Revelation, meant when he said that 666, was the number of man, or number of the beast. It is the number of carbon-12, which is the basis of man's physical body, which ties him to the physical universe. 
This is especially significant, when we understand, what transmutation awaits this carbon-12, which will bestow man such superhuman powers, that will make every technological advancement till date, completely redundant. Every secret has a time. A time to reveal. A time to celebrate. It is now time to reveal the secret of all secret of carbon-7. Carbon-7 is the hitherto undiscovered isotope of carbon, which has six electrons, six protons and only one neutron. It is the material equivalent of the Kundalini system as well as Metatron's cube. Like iron has the ability of sustaining a magnetic field around it, Carbon-7 has the uncanny ability to carry hyperdimensional fields, such as fields of thought, around it. Thus it can amplify thought, and other hyperdimensional fields, just as the iron and copper in a transformer can amplify magnetic fields. Naturally, it is formed in the brains of spiritual adepts, when they have out-of-body experiences, or perform other supernatural phenomena, such as bilocation, or materialization etc.